Hello everyone, welcome back again. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about general purpose input device. There are only very few things I, need, I, will, I am going to discuss in this part, but actually you will have a long lecture session for sensors. Okay, But in this part, I am going to discuss about deep switches, then the push button switches, then the matrix keyboard, and as I told you, analog inputs I am not going to cover in this session. I am going to cover analog input means the sensors in a different lecture session. Okay, let us start with the deep switch. This is the deep switch. You can see this kind of switches in your motherboard or in a number of electronics devices. You can see these kinds of deep switches. Nothing. Very one switch that will turn it on or make it short. Okay, so can have eight switches, eight connections like this. Very simple thing. It can be used in this way. On the left figure, you can see if we okay, just to make an example, like if it's our microprocessing unit, okay. VCC or you can say 5 volt. There is a switch, and here is ground. If this switch is turned off, that means if the circuit is open, then this VCC will go through this way. So, microprocessing unit will receive. 1. But if this switch is turned on, that means this path is short, actually it will start finding the shortest path to get grounded. So it will go through this one, this is the shortest path. That means the how to say connectivity is the highest in this path. So it will instead of going in this way, it will go in this way. Okay. So the this thing will not get 5 volt, it will get less than even almost 0. Okay, 0 volt. It will receive almost 0 volt. So that means this microprocessing unit is getting 0 by use by if I will turn it. On. So, so deep switch is using for giving input to the microcontroller unit. So, if we turn on, means it's getting zero. If we turn off, that means I'm once again. If we turn on, that means I'm getting zero. And if we turn off, that means I am getting one. Okay, that is the main concept. So, for Six pin, uh, eight pins for a port. Whenever so for any microcontroller you need, or whenever we will talk about microcontroller or microprocessor or about I/O, usually everywhere we will use eight bit as a port. Okay. Here again, you can see it's written port B is connected with the deep switch and port C is connected with the LED. So we can just connect in this way and. We can make a program so that when it become turned on, the LED will turn on, corresponding LED will turn on. When the it will off, LED will turn off. We can we can we can make a program, simple program, by using this configuration. So this is a very simple configuration of a deep switch. Okay. Now the push button key or push button switch. Push button actually this one is if we turn on, it will remaining on. But push button, if we just push, it will on or make the short short connection. And if you release it, it will become off. Okay, you can see on the bottom figure, like the upper two pins are connected. Always, when you will push, the lower two will be connected and the upper two will be disconnected. You can see in the figure. Okay, once again, the upper 
upper one is connected. Okay, but when you will push, upper two will be disconnected and lower two will be connected. Okay, so a number of types of deep switches are there. You can see here inside the deep switch there is a spring which is actually uh, forcing it back to zero. Now for for push button switch or push button key, one very important issues are there. When you push, maybe for your one press, maybe it connected twice or three, three times. Okay, so three times means three signal, which is not good for us. Once again, when you turned on, we are imperfect. So we pushed, but maybe at that time our finger was just vibrating and it took three one connection, on connection, short connection. Okay, in the same way when we release our finger, maybe our finger was vibrating and it had touched the upper part twice or three times. So we need to handle this thing. Three times means three off signal. In the same way, if we'll touch the bottom one for three times, three times touching means three on signal. We need to handle it. The handling of this kind of vibration is called key debouncing. So the reading of one contact as multiple input can be eliminated by a key debounce technique using either hardware or software. Okay? So we can use debouncing technique both for hardware and software. For software is nothing. We have to, whenever we will get some uh, input, we will wait for a while. We will not take input for 20 milliseconds. After that, we will take another one. Otherwise, if you push A button on the keyboard, it will give you thousands of A in a second that you don't want. Okay, so I will press A. So whenever you will get a press of any key for 20 nanoseconds, it will not receive any on or any how to say input from the same button. That is the point. So by using that concept, we are using software debouncing, software key debouncing. But there are two way of hardware key debouncing. The same thing, we will make the delay by using a hardware. One concept is SL latch. Okay, so if we will implement SL latch on some deep, uh, on some push button switch okay it will it will be able to handle the key debouncing in the same way if we'll use a multiplexer okay it will also able to make uh, able to handle the keyboard debouncing or key debouncing okay this is the configuration of push button okay the almost the same thing like this thing okay it, 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 it is a bit different here was a common anode type configuration and here a bit common, it, this one is common cathode type configuration and now this is common anode type like, so when you push here, it will be connected, short connection, okay, that means it will become ground, it will become ground, so ground means zero, okay, and if you release it, no connection, Try state means it can consider one. Okay, so by using this concept, uh, push button key can be used. This is another interesting thing, matrix keyboard. Actually, this is this is this is using almost the same concept of matrix display. You see what happened? There are four connections coming from four pins of a microcontroller. like if it's our microcontroller. So instead of in matrix display, there was a LED in every connection. So if we consider one, two, three, four, the same way, one, two, three, four. For matrix 
display there was a LED in this intersection but here actually there is a key okay you can uh, it just showing in this way there is a switch push button switch okay so what is actually happening the same almost the same concept of matrix display what is actually happening it's sending one and watching whether I am getting one from any of this pin. Once again, in this port, this four is using for output and this four is using for in. So it's giving one zero 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 and it's watching. Is there any one in this any one of these four? It's reading input from these switches. So if this thing it receive one in this port, that means this one came through this line. Through this line. Oh, sorry. Through this line. Okay. So one is coming to this line that means it's it can understand this switch is turned on but none of these three all of these three are off and after that it gives one to this one and it will see it will find everything is zero and after that it will give one here and it will see no pin is giving it one. In the same way, when it had given one, then it will give no one in any of their inputs. So, after this cycle, it will be able to understand this key was pressed. Since only at this one time, only this pin was 1 that means only this key was pressed and all key was off and again this is called scanning and this is scanning happens this cycle happens after every some time so that is the concept of matrix keyboard and that is the concept of how we can interface a matrix keyboard with a microcontroller unit. So once again for this configuration this 4 should be out should be used for out and this 4 should be used for in. So first one read this 4, 1 read this 4, 1 read this 4, 1 read this 4 and this cycle will be continuing all the way. Okay so that is the concept of reading matrix keyboard. So you can see in this figure or in this concept, so one, one was one, other all, all other was zero, and you can see. Okay. So thank you very much for this session. On next session, we're going to discuss about the sensors. Very, very important session. Okay, sensor actually analog input. Here almost all the inputs are digital. Okay, you see here was digital input, push button, it's also giving just one or zero. So all these were digital input, but, but sensors will give you analog input. So how we can get analog input that things are going to cover in our next session. Thank you very much.